Monroe load adjusting shock absorber for the 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan. It says it adds 1,100 pounds of additional support. It's also supposed to ride smooth when you're not loaded and tighten up when you are loaded. So this is them out of the box. Got a little issue here already, I can see. Some of the reviews uh, about these shocks talk about squeaking. Um, this little rubber thing that was loose when I first opened it, it's not in there very hard. I imagine, and it's not very hard rubber, this might break, wear, and then you end up with metal on metal contact. Um, we'll see. Perhaps um, perhaps something a lot of grease could help heal. I don't know. I'm going to give them a try even if they squeak. They got to be better than what I got. I'm going for it. I mean it's a shock absorber. It's two bolts. So I'm going to run them with the airbags that I have installed. Um, I have a feeling that in the spring the airbags are going to be done again anyway. And I might throw them away. Uh, and this might be the last line, but I'm curious to see what it does with both. Ultimate support. And I'm going to do it outside instead of in the garage because it's beautiful out. So this shouldn't require tutorial. We're talking about your shock. You got a bolt here and one on the other side. I like to use an air hammer because these can get nasty. Helps. So now I got to put the jack underneath the trailing arm to hold it while I loosen the shock absorbers. The jack also lets you adjust the height of the trailing arm so you can align the shock absorber bolt uh, as you put it back in. So I'm going to use my 18 millimeter box end and an 18 millimeter air hammer on this side. Yeah, there she goes. All right, on this side, 18 millimeter air hammer here, 18 millimeter open end. Might be able to get the box on it. I'll start with the open, see how it goes from behind here. Oopsie! By the way, not only am I replacing these because I need assistance with towing, but look at that thing. Next, we'll definitely put some grease on this. And then this is going to go orientation this on the top. Grease. Whole lot of grease. And as always, you start the bolt and nut uh, by hand before you put the air hammer on it. If you get it cross threaded and air hammer it, you'll strip it. Just started a little bit and I gotta do the other one. This is the lower bolt. Check that out. It needs wire wheel cleanup. We'll do that before we put it back in. Ooh, it's nasty. The other bolt was clean here, uh, so it's isolated. This one's dirty all the way across, so I'm gonna grease up the whole length of it uh, just to keep the corrosion at bay just remember lube is your friend now what do i need 
I need a little more height. There we go. Lots of grease, that's such a good thing. You know what's neat about these? They look cool too, look at that. Doesn't that look cool? It's mostly about how it looks, really. That's what I'm all about. That's good. That's good. All right, that's one installed on one side. And you know the rule, never ever trust an air hammer. Always use a torque wrench. 110 foot pounds is what I use. Get the click on all five. All right, it's getting dark, but love you. But I gotta go for a test drive and test out the shocks. So far, so good. It felt great in the yard. I'm just after the ultimate van slash truck like experience. Oh yeah, that is beefy. It rides beautiful, uh, just empty. It's confident, it's not harsh. It's uh, similar to how the airlift first felt and still feel. It's um, firm but soft at the same time. It's very supportive, it doesn't give, but it's never harsh feels amazing. I'm really happy with these. I'm looking forward to testing it with the towing load on it. So in regard to the springs, the new shocks, they have the same support that the airbags have basically. The combination of the two though, however, gave me more height, ride height, but I had to put about 65 pounds of air in the air lift bags to get it to this level. So next year, definitely load levelers are going to be my next step. This today has been the best, most stable ride I've had towing this rig. So it's working great, but it's really not the right solution. I need load levelers, so that'll be my next step. Uh, but right now, today, I'm very happy with this.